Divers use it to get over the bends. Diabetics depend on it to cure wounds. Even athletes believe it will enhance their performance. Now families here in Tampa Bay are hoping a controversial treatment will heal their children who suffer from autism and other neurological injuries. I remember one day I was in there and um, I said, Caleb, I love you. Christy Schwady shares her scrapbook of heart-wrenching pictures detailing the hours, days and weeks after her baby boy suffered a severe head injury. We took him to a licensed home daycare provider and um, when we when he was picked up he was unresponsive. Doctors told her Caleb had life-threatening injuries the result of shaken baby syndrome. They told us many times he wouldn't make it and if he did make it he wouldn't have any quality of life. Tyler Sewer remained locked in his own world struggling with autism and a seizure disorder. He's gonna be on medications all his life you know might get worse I, I wasn't going to take that answer. These two families have very little in common except a quiet desperation and a shared hope that a controversial treatment will heal their precious children. They are using at-home hyperbaric chambers to deliver oxygen therapy to their loved ones. The chamber takes air from the room, runs it through a concentrator, then pumps it into the portable pressurized air bag delivering, according to the sewers, 87% pressurized oxygen, four times what we normally breathe. The theory is oxygen will reduce inflammation and improve circulation in the brain. The sewers put Tyler in the chamber one hour every day. It's been two years now. He hasn't had a seizure. Anna says the oxygen therapy also helped his vision. After treatment, about four or five months ago, these are his new glasses. And that the, his doctor, his eye doctor, is just amazed. Dr. Christopher Morrison isn't surprised these families are seeing improvements, but warns the home chambers can't reach the same pressure as a hospital-grade chamber. And he says there are risks. Because you can cause harm, obviously, if you're getting some uh, unwanted molecules in the air that you're breathing. Still, he says, the research so far is promising. We found that, at least through PET scanning and SPEC scanning, that we actually are changing the metabolism and improving the circulation of the brain in some of these patients. Treatments are expensive, costing from $100 to $500 a session in a clinic, even more in a hospital. And then the, the child and the adult will get in. The Salama Grotto, a local nonprofit organization, purchased a number of home chambers and allows families like these two to use the chambers for free. Now they're trying to get the word out. We've been so blessed by what the opportunities that he's been given to heal that I just I, I hope that other families are able to benefit from something as great as that. Most home chambers are FDA approved, but not necessarily for the treatment of neurological disorders. State investigators tell me they don't regulate these at-home chambers unless medical-grade enriched oxygen is being used. If you'd like more information on the Salama Grotto or hyperbaric oxygen therapy, go to our website at abcactionnews.com forward slash links.